right so the next one this we're going to have square root of 5 is just 5 and then the ne uh, the negative gives us our i square root of 5 times the negative gives us the i square root of 30 we want to multiply here and we get i times i is i squared 5 times 30 is 150. And now we want to start breaking this down. First of all, we recall over here that i squared equals negative 1. So that becomes negative 1. The square root of 150, I'm going to come off to the side and do scratch work with it. I'm going to divide by 2, I get 75. Divide by 3, get 25. Divide by 5, get 5. We're looking for pairs. So that means a 5 comes out front and a 2 and a 3 are left under the radical. So 5 square root of 6. So this is 5 square root of 6. And then you multiply a negative times a positive and you get a negative 5 square root of 6. Okay, over here on our division one, we're going to simplify the numerator, which is going to give us i square root of 42. In the denominator, we're going to get i square root of 3. And then we recognize that this i will cancel this i. So I'm going to have square root of 42 over 3. When you have a square root over a square root, you can combine them. And then we say 42 divided by 3 is going to be 14. So this simplifies to the square root of 14. Now we look at 3. It says write in standard form. We're going to simplify this part of the radical right here. So I'll say 15 minus this negative gives me the i and square root of 100 is just going to be 10. So I'm going to squeeze that in. I'm actually going to rewrite it so it's a little neater. We give me 10i over 5. And then I want you to see that this term, this term, and this term all have a 5, a factor of 5 in them. So we want to divide a 5 out of each. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And 5 divided by 5 is a 1, but we don't necessarily have to put 1 on the bottom. So it's going to simplify to 3 minus 2i. All right, on this next part, we're going to be talking about complex conjugates. Okay, so that basically means when I have an A plus BI multiplied times an A minus BI, you can see one's a positive and one's a negative, that what happens is you lose the middle term. So you're just left with this A times A is A squared, and the B times B is B squared. So um, this is a very useful thing when we're simplifying when we come here, we don't like an imaginary number in the denominator, so we would use a complex conjugate to solve that. So the conjugate of that will be minus. Remember, we keep the this term and this term the same, and we change this. If this is a plus, we make this a minus. But whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. More precisely, what you do to the denominator, you must do to the numerator as well. Okay, now up here, we're going to have a binomial times a binomial, which means to FOIL. 5 times 3 is 15 minus 5i. Then we come back under here. Minus 5i times 3 is negative 15i. And then a negative times a negative is a positive 5i squared all over. Now in the bottom we have conjugates. So according to this, because we know this is a conjugate, I can say 3 times 3 and get 9. Uh, and then i times negative i is negative i squared. Now we want to simplify the top and have like terms here. Negative 5i minus 15i would give me um, no, what, negative 20i, then I say plus 
the 5, but instead of i squared, remember we said i squared equals negative 1. In place of this i squared, I'm going to go ahead and plug in a negative 1. Now I'm in the numerator, I'm going to bring down my 9, minus, and in place of i squared, I'm going to put a parenthesis, and this i squared is going to turn into a negative 1. So we'll continue across to simplify. So I'm going to have 15 minus 20i minus 5 over 9 plus 1, which is going to be 10. I can add 15, add like terms here, 15 minus 5 will give me 10 minus 20i over 10. Look at that for a minute and tell me what you notice. Good, you notice that this have a 10, this has a 10, and this is, uh, has a multiple of 10, so I can reduce every term in the problem by 10, so I would get 10 divided by 10 is 1, 20 divided by 10 is 2, keep the i, 10 divided by 10 is a 1, which I don't need to put it over 1, I could just simplify this, and that's going to be my solution. Okay, on this next one, we're going to multiply by an i. So then I have to multiply the numerator by an i, and then that would give me 14i over negative i squared. Now I just carry my numerator over, bring down my that negative over, and then i squared is going to be negative 1. And that just means a negative times a negative. This becomes a positive 1, so I'm going to have 14i over positive 1, which is just going to be 14i. Okay, so this next one we're going to multiply by a uh, 3i times a 3i. So as I multiply across, I'm going to get negative 18i on the top, and then 9i squared in the denominator. So negative 18i over 9, and of course i squared is negative 1. So we're reducing this thing. We're going to simplify 18i over negative 9, which then negative 18 divided by negative 9 is a positive 2i. Same thing for d, multiply times 3i, multiply times 3i, except for this is a binomial, so I'm going to say 4 times 3 is 12i, negative i times 3 is negative 3i squared over 3 times 3 is 9i squared, so 12 i minus 3, of course wherever there's an i squared, replace with a negative 1, 9, and then where there's an i squared, I'm going to put a negative 1 again. So we would continue, we would get 12i plus 3 over negative 9. Okay, and we see that all of these have a 3 in them, so we can reduce, which is going to be divide by 3, you would get a 4, divide by 3, you would get a 1, divide by 3, you would get a 3, and you keep the negative. Okay, for E, we're going to multiply by 6i multiply by 6i, and of course we're going to, 6 times 4 is 24i, minus 6 times 2 is 12i squared. In the bottom, in the numerator, we'll get 6 times 6 is 36i squared, so that will be 24i minus 12 times our i squared is a negative 1 over 36 times i squared which is negative 1 
and that will give us 24i plus 12 over negative 36. Now we're going to divide a 12 out of each of these, so you would get 24 divided by 12 is 2. 12 divided by 12 is 1. 36 divided by 12 is 3, and there's a negative. Now, even on the last one, I didn't make the, the comment that if you don't want negatives in the bottom, we can change the signs of everything in the problem. So that would be equivalent to negative 2i minus 1 over 3. So both of those are valid. If it's picky about having a negative in the bottom, which oftentimes it is, then we may want to do that step.